Tafsir Al-Tabari Tafsir, page 29 of the Quran. Zero thirty zero twenty eight verse one hundred eighty seven saying in the tafsir of saying Almighty, I bring you the night of fasting wrath to your women, they are a dress for you, and you dress for them all anew that you were circumcising yourselves, and he repented of you and pardoned you. So now start them and seek what Allah has written for you and eat and drink until you see the white thread of the black thread from dawn, and then complete the fast until night and do not initiate them while you are working in the mosques, these are the limits of Allah, so do not bring them closer as well as Allah shows his verses to people so that they may fear means Almighty Allah reminds him by saying, I bring you I call you and I will forgive you. By saying this, he means the night of fasting on the night of fasting. As for the wrath, it is a euphemism for intercourse in this place, it is said, it is the wrath and the wrath. It was recounted that in Abdullah's reading, I bring you the night of fasting to your women. Like what we Said in the Tafsir of the Wrath, the people of Tafsir said. Who said it? 2374 Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Abd al Hakam al Masri spoke to me. He said, Ayyub ibn Suwaid, about Sufyan, about Asim, about Bakr, about Abdullah al Musni, about Ibn Abbas said, Wrath, intercourse, but Allah is gracious to me. 2375 Ibn Hamid spoke to us, he said, Jarrah told us, about Asim, about Bakr, about Ibn Abbas, like him. 2376 Muhammad ibn Sa'ad spoke to me, he said, my father spoke to me, he said, my uncle spoke to me, he said, my father spoke to me, about his father, about Ibn Abbas, he said, Raf, Nika. 2377 Al Hasan ibn Yahya spoke to us, he said, Abd al Razak told us, he said, Muammar told us, about Qatada, he said, Raf, the cheating of women. 2378 Muhammad ibn Amr spoke to me, he said, Abu Asim spoke to us, he said, Isa told us, about Abu Najia's son, about a Mujahid and saying, I bring you the night of fasting wrath to your women he said, intercourse. 2379 the Mutana spoke to me, he said Abu Huzaifa spoke to us, he said, a cub told us about Abu Najia's son, about a Mujahid, like him. 2380 Mutana spoke to me, he said, Abu Salah spoke to us, he said, Muawiya spoke to me, about Ali, about Ibn Abbas, he said, Raf, is the Nika. 2381 the Mutana spoke to me, he said, he said, Isaac spoke to us, he said our event Abd al-Kabir al-Basri, he said, al Dahak ibn Uthman spoke to us, he said, I asked Salem ibn Abd Allah about his saying, I bring you the night of fasting wrath to your women and he said, it is intercourse. 2382 Moses ibn Aaron spoke to me, he said, Amr ibn Hamad spoke to us, he said, Asbat spoke to us, about the saddle, I bring you the night of fasting wrath to your women saying, intercourse. And the wrath is in a different place of obscenity in logic as the Ajaj said, about the language and the wrath of speaking the saying in the interpretation of his saying Almighty, they are a dress for you and you are a dress for them. The Almighty means. Reminding. of this. Your women dress for you, and you dress for them. If a person says, how can our women dress for us when we have a dress for them, and the dress is what is dressed? It was said, therefore, there are two meanings, one of them is that each of them made his owner a dress, to get them out when sleeping and meet them in one dress and join the body of each of them to the owner of the status of what he wears on his body of his clothes, and each of them was told that it is a dress for his owner, as the genius of Bani Jada said, if the noise bends the folds of the crumblings, then it is on him to dress and narrate, discouraged so he was discouraged from there. Meeting stripped in one bed in the dress as it is called by clothes from the human body. As Layla said as she described a camel that was ridden by a people, they threw her in pumice robes, so that she could see no resemblance except for the repulsive ostrich, meaning they threw her themselves and rode. Her. As al Hathli.
said, he disowned the blood of the dead man and watered him, and I was suspended by Dr. M. The dead person means by her own visit. Thus the spring was saying, 2383 the Mutana spoke to me, he said, Isaac spoke to us, he said, ABD Alberman IBN Sai D spoke to us, he said, Abu Jaffer told us about the spring, they are a dress for you and you are a dress for them he says, they are a quilt for you, and you are a quilt for them. The other aspect is to make each of them a dress for its owner because it is his dwelling, as most of his praise said, making you a night dress means a dwelling in which you dwell. As well as the wife of the man whose dwelling dwells to her, as the Almighty said, and he made her husband to dwell on her so that each of them would be dressed for his owner, in the sense of his silence to him, and so Mujahid and others would say so. It may be said that what covers the thing and sees it from the eyes of those who look at it is its dress and its membrane, it may be. Said. They are a dress for you, and you are a dress for them, in the sense that each of you will cover up for its owner while you have sexual intercourse from the sight of other people. Mujahid and others were saying in this regard, 2384 Mutana spoke to us, he said, Abu Huzaifa spoke to us, he said, tell us about a cub, about Abu Najia's son, about Mujahid, they dress for you and you dress for them and he says, accommodation for them. 2385 Bishr Ibn Muazi spoke to us, he said, Yazid spoke to us, he said, said told us, about Katata, they dress for you and you dress for them, Katata said, they are your dwelling, and you are their dwelling. 2386 Moses Ibn Aaron spoke to me, he said, Amr Ibn Hamad spoke to us, he said, Asbat told us, about the Sudi, they are a dress for you, and he says, a dwelling for you, and you dress for them he says, a dwelling for them. 2387 Yunus spoke to me, he said, Ibn Wahab told us, he said, ABD Alraman Ibn Zaid said in his saying, they are a dress. For you and you are a dress for them he Ibn Abbas saying, they are a dress for you and you are a dress for them he said, they are your dwelling and you are their dwelling. The saying in the interpretation of his saying, Ibn Abbas saying, they are a dress for you and you are a dress for them he said, they are your dwelling, and you are their dwelling. The saying in the interpretation of his saying, Allah knew that you were circumcising yourselves, and he repented of you and pardoned you, so now they have begun to do so and seek what Allah has written for you. If he says to us, what is this betrayal that the people were betraying themselves, from which God repented of them and pardoned them? It was said, their betrayal was themselves mentioned by God in two things, one was the intercourse of women, and the other, the restaurant and the drink at a time when it was forbidden to do so to them. As, 2389 Muhammad ibn al-Mutana spoke to us, he said, Muhammad ibn Jafar spoke to us, he said, Shaba told us, about Amr ibn Mara, he said, Ibn Abi Layla told us, that if a man broke his fast he did not come to her, and if he slept he did not feed, until Umar ibn al-Khattab came wanting his wife and his wife.
said, I had slept and he thought she was sick and he fell into it and said, and a man from Ansar came and wanted to be fed and they said, shall we heat something for you? He said, then I revealed this verse, I bring you the night of fasting the wrath to your witness. verse. 23 And the Abu Kribe spoke to us, he said, Ibn Idris spoke to us, he said, Husayn ibn Abd al rahman told us about Abd al rahman ibn Abi Layla who said, they fasted three days of each month, and when he entered Ramadan they were fasting, and if a man did not eat at his mushroom until he slept he did not eat to her likeness, and if he slept or his wife slept he could not come to her like her. A sheikh from Ansar came and was told Sarma ibn Malik, and he said to his family, feed me, and she said, until I make you something hot, he said, and as I overcame him and he slept. Then Omar came and his wife said to him, I have slept, so he did not excuse her and thought that she was sick. So her reality is. So this and this fluctuated there. Night in the back and stomach, and God brought it down, eat and drink until you see the white thread of the black thread from dawn, and he said, now they have begun to do so, and God has pardoned them. It was a year. 2391 Abu Kraib spoke to us, he said, Yunus Ibn Bakir spoke to us, he said, Abd al Rahman Ibn Abdullah Ibn Utba, about Amr Ibn Mora, about Abd al Rahman Ibn Abi Layla, about Muayth Ibn Jabal, said, they ate and drank and women came unless they slept, and if they slept they left food and drink and women came, so a man from Ansar named Abu Sarma worked in his land, he said, when he was at his fungus he slept, and he became fasting and he had made an effort, and when the Prophet, peace end. Blessings of Allah be upon him, saw him, he said, what can I see in you as an effort? He was told what he had to do. And a man betrayed himself in relation to women, and God brought down the night of fasting to your women, to the end of the verse.